Tim Gordon, thefilmgordon.com. Spike, it's wonderful oh, to sit down with you again, sir. Murphy with glasses on. Say that again? You look like Eddie Murphy with glasses on. Wow. Well, thank you. I mean, if that's a good thing, is that yeah. a good thing? <laughs> Don't ever say you look like Eddie, ever? Yeah, they did back in the day, back in the day. Not even today. Well, you know, it's funny. I saw Metro years ago and I did my, you know, got locks like Eddie and had them for years. So I've heard that a lot over the years. All right. Good How you doing, brother? Um, sir, I was just thinking uh, we were talking about you specifically. And I was saying it's hard to research someone whose career ties so closely to mine. I mean, I've been doing this now for 30 years. You've been since your thesis film to now, it's been almost 40. Um, your latest film, The Five Bloods, I rewatched it again last night. I, I, the empathy that, did it again? It still hold up since June. Man, <laughs> it absolutely does hold up. And every time I watch it, I must have watched this film, honestly, around 10 times. I see something and pick something up in it every time I watch it. And I just kept watching the brotherhood last night between the, the, the four main characters and three of them that I've seen you work with a lot, you know, Clark Peters, Isaiah Whitlock, Delroy Lindo, and how the chemistry of these, these guys came together. Uh, and working with them, Spike, is it in about the casting, about how you, 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 when you're writing it and you're casting it, is it about trying to bring actors that you know can bring a certain chemistry or is that chemistry manufactured, in, I mean, not manufactured, but created on screen for us? It's a combination of, of the both. And thank you for the, for the question. It's a combination of both. I know all those cats, but another thing that people to get, when you're on location, mm -hmm. people aren't going home. <laughs> They're going to the same, the same hotel. They're eating together, breakfast, lunch, dinner. They're going to the set together. So when you're on location, it's just, it just gets tighter. You have nowhere else to go. People aren't going to their regular homes. Spike, you know, it's funny. I got a couple of minutes left, man. I just before we get off, I just want to make sure that you know that uh, I was having a conversation a, a week ago with somebody uh, that you're familiar with, Warrington Hudlin. Yeah. And we were talking about, uh, you know, this the, the black filmmaking and you know he talked about melvin van peoples and ozzy davis and gordon parks um we credit you with launching the modern era of black film um looking at your uh, this is a legacy question for you you're 30 almost 40 years in man i mean i know there's no way you could have imagined for dec almost four decades Four decades, Spike. You've been, you've been, and, and look, your latest film is as biting as your earlier ones were. How are you able to maintain that edge over the over all this time? I didn't move to LA. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a key. As my late mother would say, you know, I kept my skinny, rusty butt in New York City. Well, because Spike, I got to run, man. Oh, go ahead. I'm not talking about anybody, but L.A.'s sunshine, beautiful, and I just did not want to lose my edge, you know, so I, I stayed here in Weber, York. Well, right brother, brother, I appreciate you, and before I go, I'm just letting you know, as a Wizards fan, we are not trading Bradley Beal to the Knicks. We don't want no. <laughs> peace, Spike. All right, but well, please say hello to Warrington to me for, for me. I will do, sir. I will do. One last thing. If it wasn't for Oscar Mouchot, Melvin Van Peoples, Gordon Parks, Ozzy Davis, also people, a person we forget about, Michael Schultz. Absolutely. One of my favorite films. When Richard Pryor was the biggest star on Hollywood, a lot of those films were directed by Michael Schultz. So all those people together, you know, made me possible. 
Absolutely, brother. And you took the baton and you have passed it on. We appreciate you, Spike. It is always a pleasure to sit down with you, man. You take care and enjoy your day, sir. Take care. You too.